It seems like every month AI is integrating itself more and more into the tools that we use. And we just saw some big integrations in our browsers with Perplexity Comet and ChatGPT Atlas. And this is happening really fast inside of WordPress and the web design process as well. It's no longer just a gimmick. Things are getting real. And it's important that we stay ahead of what is changing and what is coming, which is why I'm making this video so we all could stay ahead. So let's take a look at some real situations where AI is actually integrating into WordPress. First are MCPs inside of WordPress. We can now add MCPs into WordPress, turning our WordPress website into an MCP server. And this is very significant. And let me explain how important this is and what an MCP is. The MCP is a model context protocol. And this is basically like an API created for LLMs such as ChatGPT and Claude. And it allows that API sort of connection to our websites with the MCP to connect and perform actions. Think of things like using your ChatGPT or Claude to update content or post content to create images directly inside of your website. And I'm not talking about being in your website and doing it, but actually inside of your LLM of choice. We could be doing things like updating and optimizing our SEO. And then when it comes to something like WooCommerce, we could do so much more by optimizing products, updating product details, adding products, the list goes on. A way to get started is to use a plugin like this, MCP Adapter. This is by WordPress. And this turns your WordPress website into an MCP server and it allows for those connections. This also allows to connect your LLM with your block builder as well. You could go in and you could use your ChatGPT or Claude to edit your blocks. Not only does the MCP connect to your website, but you could also have your WordPress website call out to your LLM. We're just scratching the surface. There's so much to this. And I mean, we could see things like this Reddit right here where Claude takes over a WordPress with MCP. This is very big. Like this is very big. And we're just getting started with this and I'm going down a deep rabbit hole with it and I plan to make more content on it because this is huge. Now, if you do want to see more about how this works and how we could optimize our workflows, let me know in the comments because the more requests I get, the more push I get to make these videos quicker. Next up is AI in page builders. And this is just getting started, but we can see here with Elementor's Angie and okay, Elementor AI. I am not talking about that old Elementor AI that's been around forever. I've never used it and personally never found it useful, which is why I never showed it on my channels. But this is different. This isn't just create some content. This is another MCP. And with this, check out what we're able to do. I mean, we're able to update, change our visuals, our graphics and our images. We're able to go in and create a promotion in a site-wide cell. Doing things like this usually could take time. And I forgot to mention when we're talking about MCPs and WordPress, you could basically look at this, and this is how I look at it, like tasks that I would give to a VA, not an actual developer or like, you know, a high level designer, but think about what you would give to a VA, update the content, go ahead and launch the cell, set it up, create coupons. These are the things that these MCPs could do. And now even Elementor is creating their own that they've called Angie. And from what I have gathered from this so far, it could also help with the Elementor side. I mean, it's still a ways to go. It's still going to take time, but I know that it could also work with something like ACF, custom post types. You could create them. And this is just, again, going into the world of MCPs, having that connection with your LLM, but taking it to a page builder. And my prediction is by this time next year, we're going to see this in multiple page builders. AI integrated plugins. And let's take a look at AutoKit. This is quite advanced right here because it could create AI agents directly inside of your WordPress website. Now we could create AI agents using something like NMN 
or make. But now we have it directly integrated inside of WordPress using a tool like this, or even building MCP servers where we have more control over those connections. Now I did just recently do a video on AutoKit showing more about the MCP servers and AI agents. I'll leave a link to that inside of the description. In fact, I'm going to have links to everything that you're seeing inside of this video inside of the description. So definitely check that out. And then there's more plugins, something like AI engine right here. And when I went to this Reddit thread about Claude taking over the WordPress website and doing everything, it was all done with AI engine. And I believe we are going to start to see a whole lot more of these, you know, tools that could go ahead and create chatbots and do a lot more with the content and images. And after reading comments, a lot of people were digging this one right here. If you are using an AI plugin, some sort of plugin that brings AI integration into your website, drop it inside of the comments. One of the ones that I really enjoy was actually SEO Press Pro, which had their ChatGPT integration. That allowed me to automatically have alt text put inside of the description every time I uploaded an image was super useful. But now what we are able to do connecting AI tools directly into our WordPress website, it makes that look like child's play. Again, we're just scratching the surface and getting started. Next up is AI integration into our hosting and hosting plays a major role in building our websites. Now we do have integrations with something like Cloudways Copilot. And basically what Copilot does is it has AI monitoring, reviewing, and being able to tell you what's going on with your server. Now, when I am running WordPress maintenance plans, a big part of it is that uptime monitoring. And with that, we set up different tools. So that way, if the website goes down, well, we're notified, but things still happen. Sometimes you get those DDoS attacks. Sometimes it just gets hit with bots a whole lot. Sometimes the configurations aren't really optimal. And that's where a tool like this will come in handy and have an AI being able to go in and actually tell you what your server health is like, and then being able to give you a fix to it. So having something like this, takes that monitoring to a whole other level where you have an extra set of eyes. And not only does it tell you if something is wrong or if something needs to get fixed, but it actually gives you the solution, sets it up, you approve it, and then bam, you're done. So again, this is where we're starting to see AI integration becoming more of the web design and web creating process. And now if we're gonna talk about web design, we gotta talk about Figma one last integration and Figma did have their AI integrated for a little while. And recently I've been finding it kind of useful. Like for an example, an image like this, I could go in and let's just remove the background. I could also go in and edit and do a few things, but a task like this, I would go in and manually start to crop myself out using affinity photo. It would take a few minutes, but check that out. It's already done. And now I could go ahead, create my thumbnail and Okay, it's not the best looking photo of myself. I probably would choose another, but that's the thing. I could take tons of photos and I could use this, but this is just an example right here. I have been able to use this with other types of images that I wanna crop certain things out. This is, I feel, just a start to what we're going to see inside of Figma. I do predict that by this time next year, we're gonna see a lot more AI integration. Remember, Figma just went public, so I do see big things coming their way. And with that, we could see AI integrated at all these different levels. First, in the core of WordPress. Second, inside of the builders. Third, inside of the tools that we are using, the plugins, the things that we could add to our WordPress websites. And then, in the tools that we use to support our WordPress websites, like hosting, and then inside of the web design process. I have a feeling this time of year, next year, things are gonna be so different. We're gonna be seeing integrations on a whole other level and doing things with AI and WordPress that I can't even imagine of right now. So I really look forward to continue making updated videos, but I would love to hear your predictions. Where do you see this going? How useful do you see this? Where do you see WordPress and AI 
in a year from now? Let us know inside of the comments. And really quick, I do want to give a special thanks to Cloudways for partnering on this video, being able to show their AI integration. If you want to explore it, definitely check the link inside of the comments. I do have a special coupon code down there for the community. That way, you know, I'm always trying to look out for the community and get discount codes. Thank you again. I really appreciate you for watching and for your support. And I'll see you in the next video.